Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education with Frank Avella, Professional Learning Communities, a collaborative effort from a team of educators to improve learning through action-based research. The core principles of a PLC is the idea that professional development among teachers will lead to greater success for their students. The biggest factor for student success is and always will be the classroom teacher. Since the classroom teacher is so important, schools must find ways to further develop these teachers and increase their effectiveness. Why should schools incorporate PLCs? With PLCs, teachers have the ability to discover and reflect on their own pedagogical practices. Teachers rarely find the time to do this with the enormous workload they are given. The data gathered is school specific and absolutely relevant to the teacher. Teachers gather data and perform action research from the very schools they teach at. They also provide teachers with a certain level of autonomy. It is the teachers themselves that actually plan, research, and solve school problems. Professional development aims to improve on student learning rather than just teaching. The PD should identify, implement, and assess methods to ensure every student can and will excel. PLCs create a culture of collaboration. The saying goes, we are smarter together. A PLC can bring together different ideas of two English teachers with different styles but the same level of passion. Now let's take a look at a solid example of a PLC. You might see several of the 8th grade teachers, child study team, and guidance counselors having a discussion on the best ways to prepare 8th grade students for the transition to next year in high school. They are looking at data, building action plans, most importantly they are identifying solutions to school problems. Here are several steps that I've used, although you may want to change the order. Based on my experience, I feel it is a necessary step to put in place some guidelines for teacher behavior within the PLC. You can then begin by developing the mission and goals. Develop overarching goals that align with the entire district school mission. These goals should be developed as a team and based on the current school data. The next step is to determine meeting times, dates, locations. Allow the teacher to do this themselves. Each meeting may have its own specific objective. Provide some teachers the opportunity to take a leadership role in the PLC. The teacher can lead discussions. Here is where the work begins. Based on the PLC and given data, teachers should develop and implement an action plan. To do this, you must define the big picture goal and have time constraints. Remember, everything begins and ends with assessment. Therefore, survey the teachers and see what they have to say about the overall PLC. Right now I want to say thank you for your time. Please like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, and help keep me going by making a small contribution to the PayPal me link below in the description.